In this tutorial, we'll show you how to bring an aerial image from Google Earth into Bonsai 3D and use it for site development. We'll also show you how to export your Bonsai 3D model into Google Earth. We'll begin by launching Google Earth. The first thing we'll do is type in the address of the location of the site. We can either type in a physical address or we can type in the coordinates using the latitude and longitude of the site. And once Google Earth finds that site for us, we can use the navigational tools to zoom to the proper view that we want. Now it's important to understand that the view that we have here is the view and the scale that will be brought into Bonsai 3D. Also any graphical information or any text that is visible inside of Google Earth will also be brought into Bonsai 3D also. So you can turn on or off any information that you need. And now we go into Bonsai 3D. In the view pull down menu select Google Earth Get Current View. Now you can type in any name that you desire for the name of the image that will be imported from Google Earth. It should be noted that the image is automatically saved as a JPEG file. Now click the Save button and the image is automatically added as a material and mapped to the proper scale on a 2D rectangle. We can change the quality of the display resolution of the image that we imported in by choosing Display Options from the Display pull-down menu. This brings up the Display Options palette in which we can change the image texture resolution that is displayed in the modeling window. Observe that the default image is black and white. If you want a color image, go back into Google Earth and choose File, Save, Save Image. In the Save dialog, we'll type in the name that we want for the other image, such as Arial Color. Please note that it's very important that you don't change your view in Google Earth. You need to keep the same view so it matches the black and white image we captured earlier. Now we'll go back into Bonsai 3D and replace the black and white image with the new color image that we just saved. In the Materials palette, find the material that was automatically created for us earlier. If we double click on it, that'll invoke the Material Parameters palette, and we can click on the open icon to load a different texture. There's the black and white image that was automatically loaded earlier. So by clicking on the Load button, we can now choose the color image that we just saved. If we click the OK button, you can see that the black and white image has now been replaced with the color image. And it's still mapped onto that same 2D rectangle. And now we can start modeling on our site. We can use any of the drawing tools to draw right on the face of that 2D rectangle which has the image map on it, and use it to develop our site. That 2D rectangle is also a piece of geometry just like any other object in Bonsai that you can actually cut and carve roads and riverbeds into that object. Now let's say we've completed our model in Bonsai 3D and would like to export the model and see it in Google Earth. Not a problem, just export it as a KMZ file. From the File pulled down menu, choose Export KMZ. In the Export dialog, give the file any name that you want. And when you click in the Save button in the Options, observe that the latitude and longitude are automatically set for us when we imported the aerial image from Google Earth. Now we go back to the Google Earth program and the file pulled down menu choose Open. And we can open the KMZ file that we just saved. There it is, Site Plan KMZ. Click Open and that file will be imported into Google Earth. One final note, the model is viewable only on the machine where you loaded the KMZ file and is not viewable to the entire Google Earth community. If you want someone else on a different computer to see your model in Google Earth, you have two choices. One, send them the KMZ file along with its image files and they can open it themselves in Google Earth. Or the second option is you can upload your KMZ file to the 3D warehouse and follow the Google Earth procedures for controlling access on how your model is accessible to the entire world. This concludes the Interacting with Google Earth Bonsai 3D tutorial.